This is the free motion quilting tutorial for creative flames. This design is stitched by first starting with a circle and a spiral. Just going to stitch that spiral and then I'm going to travel stitch my way right on top of that line all the way back out. This is a closed spiral so it's a lot more travel stitching involved. Now I'm just simply going to wiggle up with a cute little flame shape. Pivot and echo the flame shape up to that tip and back down again. You can do this as many times as you like or as I like to say until you get bored <laughs> and then simply branch out and stitch a new circle with a closed spiral right next to it. Travel stitch your way back out again and then wiggle up with your cute little flame shape all the way around the piece. You can make your flames as big or as small as you want. It's really entirely up to you. And there's really two ways of stitching this. You could stitch this by uh, first kind of creating that very uh, plump flame shape and stitching the circle inside of it. Or you can stitch it like this, stitching the circle first and the flame on the outside. So it's really one of those things you kind of want to just play with, creating this design, creating this set of shapes. One thing you are going to have to watch out for is the weird areas, like the area I'm stitching into right now. You're going to have to deal with those. Just try and maybe cut the flame in half and wiggle it in the best way you can. Here you can see I've got this little weird area left over in the corner of the block. What I'm going to try and do is stitch as big of flames and spirals as I can to keep everything consistent. And then in all this excess area, all that blue space that's left over, I'm just simply going to stitch back and forth echoes. So I'm just bouncing back and forth in that situation until it fills up all the way. Now I'm going to get over here by travel stitching and do the same thing. I'm going to add another echo to that flame and then maybe stitch another flame in a little spiral right here. So it's really one of those uh, situations where you just kind of have to fit it in the best way you can. But as long as you're willing to just travel stitch and echo the lines, make it look as consistent as possible, it'll look good. Here's what it looks like whenever you finish Creative Flames. For over 300 videos on free motion quilting, plus loads of tools and supplies to make this job easier, please check out DayStyleDesigns.com.